Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to our morning political conversation. And this morning we are going to actually have a conversation about what happened during the time when Oburu Odinga was having his party day at Ibondo. And at this party day, we had all the Asmio entrance in the place. Also, Stephen Kalonso Msioka was the guest speaker to this party day party. But there is something which happened which is actually significant politically. Because Raila Amolo Odinga, who is the brother of Oburu Odinga, was also present in the body day of his brother. And actually, Raila Amolo Odinga endorsed Stephen Kalonso Msioka for presidency let come 2027. And actually this will give William Samuel Ruto a lot of headache. And Raila Amolo Odinga actually told the crowd that when William Samuel Ruto was in the Nyanza four days tour in Luo Nyanza, he had told people that Kalonso Msioka is somebody who cannot defeat him, let come 2027. And Raila reminded the people that what William Samuruto was trying to do is actually to divide them. But Raila Molo Odinga had to tell William Samuruto that Asmio is completely locked. And they are heading to 2027 being inseparable, being together. And he actually praised Kalonzo Msioka and he told the crowd that Kalonzo has stood with Raila Molo Odinga severally around three times. And Kalonzo Msioka is actually a very royal individual and he is better than William Samuel Ruto ten times. And actually, the whole conversation looked that Raila Molodinga had actually endorsed Stephen Kalonso Msioka for presidency late come 2027. And that's why Raila Molodinga had to say that they are going to stand with Stephen Kalonso Msioka up to the end. Please listen to the speech of Raila Amolo Odinga, which seems that he was actually endorsing Stephen Kalonso Msioka for presidency let come 2027. Please listen to this speech carefully. Asa hapa niko na ndugu yangu rena rafiki yetu ye ndi oburu wa mealika ye siku ya leo kama mgeni imalumu uyu jamaa tumetembea nae pamoja Tulikuwa nae pamoja kutoka wakati hili ya kanu. Alikuwa kanu huko. Tukainda nae, tukaunda chama pamoja na ye. Inaitua uh, LDP. 
tukaingia na pamoja kwa nak tukaenda naye pamoja kwa odm tumesimama naye pamoja mara mbili tumesimama naye pamoja tukipigana na tujashindwa kila mara kwa mara tumekuwa tunanyang'anywa tu eh amesimama na mizizi kidete hata mara hii ya mwisho hakuchagaliwa kama kama mgombea mwenza nabii yangu lakini alibaki na sisi alibaki na sisi jamaa ana moyo jamaa ana ukakamavu jamaa ni mtu ambaye unaweza kumwamini ye ni mtu mwaminifu ye tena ni mtu mkristo ye ni mtu ana tabia ya ungingwana ana upendo ana upendo kabisa Juzi nilisikia kama Ruto alikuwa hapo ndani anasema tu mimi najua baba hata simama sasa mimi nitakuwa na saka kalonzo tu anaongea juu ya kalonzo kama kalonzo ni kama yeye kalonzo ameshinda bwana Ruto mara kumi. yeye ni mtu mwaminifu yeye ni mtu mwaminifu anataka kutagawanya sisi baba na kalonzo siji baba hatasimama si nani atasimama miongoni wetu hapa mtu atasimama sawa sawa yeye anafikiri yeye ni mwerevu zaidi tutamuonyesha ati yeye hajui sawa sawa sisi tutasimama kidete na ndugu kalonzo msioka yeye ni mtu mwaminifu Tumeleona vizuri? Tumeleona vizuri? Kwa hiyo yeye ndiye na Dr. Buru kama mgeni maalum ya shahafla ya leo. Sasa mimi nataka nimuite yeye akuje hapa asalimu nyinyi. Dr. Steven Kalonzo Musyoka. After listening to that speech of Raila Amolo Odinga, you can say that it's clear that Raila Amolo Odinga used the occasion to endorse Stephen Kalonzo Msyoka for presidency late come 2027. And I think William Samuel Ruto is not very happy with what Kalonzo is doing. Because let me ask you, from time memorial, people have been using Raila Amolo Odinga to win because they come out and they tell the Kenyans that Raila Amolo Odinga is and Christ. And that is the speech which actually William Samuel Ruto used to enter to presidency. And the people of Mount Kenya have always been Aunt Raila Amolo Odinga. And now, if the face of Raila Amolo Odinga is not going to be there, let come 2027. How will be the campaign of William Samuel Ruto? What will they tell the people of the mountain about Stephen Kalonzo Msioka? Since now, Raila Molodinga is going not to be in the picture. And there is that thing that Stephen Kalonzo Msioka can get forth from all corners of the Republic of Kenya. And because of that, that's why I think William Samuel Ruto must organize his team afresh. 
Because if it does not do that, there is a likelihood that Stephen Kalonso Msioka will get some thoughts from the mountain. Because the mountain has not been meant to be anti Stephen Kalonso Msioka. And also, we have other regions which don't pie. Raila Amolo Odinga easily. But they can buy Stephen Kalonso Msioka. They can like Stephen Kalonso Msioka. So William Samuel Ruto must tread carefully. He must not underrate Stephen Kalonso Msioka. If Stephen Kalonso Msioka do all what it can. He gets the right campaigning team. He gets the right communication. He gets enough funding. <laughs> then he is going to give William Samuel Ruto a run for his coins. And it might be easy for Stephen Kalonzo Msioka to remove William Samuel Ruto presidency, to make William Samuel Ruto to be a one-term president. But Stephen Kalonzo Msioka should start to tour, proper touring across the nation. Because if he waits, and if he continues being soft, at the end of it all, William Samuel Ruto will crop him. But what Stephen Kalonso Msioka must understand, he has an advantage. He is a person who is seen to be neutral. And he can also be liked by foreign countries. So if Stephen Caruso will use all those opportunities, then he might make William Samuel Ruto to be a one-term president. I don't know what's your take, my fellow listeners. Please, I could like you to drop your comment in the comment section down here. And if this is your first time to pump into this YouTube channel. I request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video thumbs up. Share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then encourage them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And also, for those who, for those who have actually subscribe to this youtube channel i say thank you and may god bless you abundantly because you always give us the inspiration to continue coming up with this kind of political analysis and whenever you subscribe to our youtube channel always remember to smash the bell button because that's the only way that youtube can give you a notification whenever we upload any political content into YouTube. And with that, I say thank you. May God bless you abundantly until we meet in our next political conversation. Goodbye.